Welcome to the Phoenix Zone and all things Hitman. I am very excited to be at Gamers Bay 7. Attention gamers of all ages and generations, here's for the ultimate gaming extravaganza, Gamers Bay 7. We may have a lot of beacons and snorkelers in the Cayman Islands, but we also have a lot of gamers. Welcome to Gamers Bay 7. We meet the organizers, gamers, YouTubers, and cosplayers. I'm here with Mr. Lance, the organizer of Gamers Bay 7. Awesome, thank you for having me. So, how long has Gamers Bay been around? So, this is actually our seventh year. Uh, we started back in 2016. Um, but when we started, we were looking at basically putting on a little video game tournament. And we did, when we did some research, we found that it's actually not a video game tournament, but it's actually called eSports. And because it was in its infant stages at that time, you know, we saw the opportunity and we, we, we wanted we were thinking about you guys when we when we when we brought the, the event together. Well, it's working out pretty well. So. Thank you so much. So what do you think of this event? Um, the event this year has been phenomenal. You know, there's a good turnout every day. You know, we got a number of free gameplay areas from virtual reality to PS5s. We got arcade style gaming on the other side. We've got the car racing gaming. We got PCs over here with um, office supplies. So it's it's been a, a amazing two days. So um, yeah, I hope you get to enjoy some of the free gameplay areas as well. So what are your goals for the future? Uh, so the future look, is looking pretty bright in regards to esports and especially for our kids. Uh, we recently became members of the, so I'm also the vice president of the Cayman Islands Esports Association. And we recently became members of the Global Esports Federation. So uh, we've got some big things coming up in 2024. The end of this year, we also got some big tournaments that we're looking to be able to participate in. And one of them is a tournament in Raida, Saudi Arabia. So we got some big things in store for our locals and youth here, and um, it's the perfect time to be a gamer. <laughs> what celebrities do you have this year? So we've got a number of celebrities. We've got a couple of gamers. Uh, one is Back Bro Jack, and then he also has another channel called More Back Bros. So he brought his, pot, his friend along, uh, so he's down here, Alec. Um, in addition to that, we also have PJ, or Overflow. He is a big gamer. He's been big in uh, Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite. Uh, he's big on TikTok, watching, uh, playing Fortnite and giving away these V-Bucks. So there's a, um, in addition to that, we also have some cosplayers. So are you familiar with cosplay? Okay, so cosplay is when they put on these costumes, like your favorite uh, superhero or uh, comic book character, and anime. And it's just a fun time to dress up and showcase your creativity. So what is your favorite cosplay to dress up as? So I recently started doing a little cosplay. Last year was my actually my first year. And this year uh, I was Ant-Man yesterday. So it was, it was, it was fun. It was exciting. Um, Again, it's a fun time to put on put on a costume and just have fun. Well, thank you so much for this. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I hope you have a great time at Gamers Bay Seven. All right. What do you think of Gamers Bay Seven? Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, I like that there's lots of video games because I love to play video games, and I like that I've got got to meet Beck. So what do you think of Games Bay 7? I think it's actually quite a nice experience to do stuff that you actually never did before, especially games, play games you never did in your life and your whole life. The Fortnite Fanatics Gamers Bay 7 presents the ultimate Fortnite duos competition. Compete for a chance to win the grand prize of $2,000. We're here with Jack and Alex, let's go Jack, at Gamers Bay 7. So what motivated you to start a game? Well, I'll take this one first. Yeah, yeah. So when I was 
12 turning 13, my cousin Christopher showed me YouTube for the first time and also Minecraft for the first time. So I started playing Minecraft when I was, I think, just turning 13. And I also just started watching YouTube uh, at the time. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I was like, I'm playing Minecraft already. I'm watching people play Minecraft. I should try to just record it myself. And ever since then, I haven't stopped. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. Around that same age, like that middle school, 12, 13 years old, I watched so much Minecraft and I had so much uh, joy watching the videos uh, on YouTube to the point where I wanted to make the same video. So I got some of my friends. I was like, look at this video, look at this video. Do you guys want to try to do the same thing? Uh, so I started off playing Hunger Games in Minecraft and that honestly didn't really do that well for me, but it was a great start to build up confidence and charisma to figure out where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do. So why do you think gaming is so important? Gaming, I mean, for me personally, obviously I am very biased, but it is one of the most important things in my life at this point. Uh, I grew up playing video games, and I feel like it just teaches you so many skills that you, you don't necessarily learn elsewhere. Um, it teaches you problem solving. It teaches you how to work with teammates, especially for team games. Um, and in particular, it taught me that I enjoyed this so much and I wanted to turn it into a career, whether it was in the game development side of things or just actual content creation. But there's so many different avenues that you can take that I knew I wanted gaming to be a part of my life forever, as I'm sure so many kids do today, that it really has just taken my life. And I, like my entire life is based around gaming and what's a new game that I can play and what, how can I make this into a good YouTube video? Um, and how do I have the most fun with games? So it's really changed my life and so many people's lives yeah, for so the better, in my opinion. Like, yeah. Go on Steam for a bit. So oh. like my yeah. Uh, honestly, I couldn't agree more. That was a great answer. So totally agree with everything that he said. But I think it also gets a pretty bad rep, uh, specifically with uh, like your social skills. A lot of people, a lot of adults will almost shun gaming and say like, oh, you're not learning how to socialize or how to speak to people. Uh, I would... Depending on what game it is, at least that you're playing, I would almost argue the opposite. I remember I was a kid playing a game that was a little bit more adulty, where you had to communicate with other people and organize um, like special attacks on other groups, and you had to wake up at this time and, and coordinate when you're going to launch this attack and do that. And so I was doing that at such a young age that um, it really helped develop a lot of social skills uh, that I think really helped me later on in life. So, yeah. When did you guys start doing content? I started a little bit over a decade now. When I was 13, I uploaded my first video, I believe in 2013, January 2013. Yeah, that's true. I forget the exact year that I started. Uh, I know that we started around the same time though, around middle school. And the reason I know that is because we actually went to rivaling middle schools. Like my middle school was here and his middle school was there. And so I had heard about him and that's kind of, and we ended up going to the same high school together as well. So he was a big fan. I actually, well, I did watch some of his videos before uh, going to high school. And so when I saw him for the first time, we played soccer together. I was like, oh my God, I know that guy. Um, so it was definitely a pretty cool moment but um yeah we probably started around the same time around middle school 12 13 years old yeah, yeah. very long time ago so you guys just play minecraft or you play any other games um so we started out with just minecraft i played some games at the start i played a little bit of rocket league i played overwatch some world of warcraft when i first started uploading content because i didn't really know what game was going to click for me minecraft inevitably became the game that like became my entire channel um, but yeah, I started out with so many different games and to this day, I mean, Minecraft is like a top game, but I've also tried to diversify and pivot, which is important for, I think, content creators where they get pigeonholed into one game or one thing that they do. Um, I didn't want to be like that. I wanted to have like the freedom to go play a different game if I wanted to and have people watch me do other things other than just play Minecraft. So I've gotten into Roblox. Uh, we've gotten into also just like real life content as well, where we're out at cool ev events like this or out doing challenges or going to theme parks and just trying to make an interesting video that isn't necessarily just gaming these days. Like we're trying to do lots more things, including the gaming as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm kind of in the same boat, but I probably do a lot more just regular Minecraft stuff than he does. He's been able to branch out, which I'm kind of jealous of, honestly. I think it's really cool that he's been able to branch out and play a variety of games and 
the all the fans still love. No matter what he plays, he can play anything at this point, and he still does very, very well. So that's super, super cool for him. Um, but I think the thing that I'm having most fun with now is doing the real life stuff that he just brought up. But it was funny because we had been making videos gaming for years and years and years, maybe like nine, ten years before we started recording real life content. And it was funny because even though it's still kind of similar that we're filming content, it was very strange to get into filming like my whole body and like running around and being funny in person. It's much different than just sitting in front of a desk and looking at a camera that it was a way. lot bigger in real life than just like <laughs> the head on the screen that you see. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it was a little bit, I, it was, there was an awkward phase where like, it was, we didn't some, I, at least I felt like I didn't really know what to say, or I didn't know how to, what to do with my hands or like what was proper to do or not. Even though I had so much experience filming Minecraft videos, it didn't immediately translate. And it was cool because it felt like I was starting from scratch again. And it was a, uh, yeah, it was a nice, fresh feeling. Yeah. So how do you film the game that you're playing? Um, so when I started out, there was a program called Fraps, uh, that is no longer Fraps. existent. <laughs> um, Fraps. but yeah, today there's so many awesome softwares. The best one that I feel like most people use is a, is a program called open broadcast software, OBS, which is free. You can record your computer screen. You know, I believe they also have a mobile version so you can record your mobile games if you need to do that. Um, but yeah, that's what we use for pretty much all of our gaming content, we use this program called OBS. Yep, yeah, I do the same thing. Started with the Fraps and now I'm into OBS. A lot of people, when they ask like, what do you use to record your your, your videos? We say, oh, it's a free software called OBS. It's like, what, it's free? But it really is a great program to use. You can do a lot of stuff with it and it's perfect for recording videos. Mm -hmm. So who supports you in your YouTube business? Ooh, so many people, so many, I mean, supporter number one right here also our younger brother who couldn't be here our, we're basically brothers at this point uh my younger brother adam aka dirt boy also is involved in the channel so he's like a huge supporter obviously um my parents as well they're they both help out with the business side of things and like the merchandise side which is very cool uh my younger sister mary and obviously so many other people within the family they kind of started out a little bit question of like questioning if this was a good thing to do um, but yeah, at this point, everybody's a full on supporter, which is great. Yeah. I'm kind of in the same boat again. Um, I would say my two brothers, I'm the youngest of three and I have two older brothers. They're probably my two biggest supporters. Uh, even when I barely had like any subscribers, they were always very adamant on continuing and pushing and doing more. And they would watch all my videos and like them and subscribe and tell their friends. So, uh, I'm really appreciative of them and of that. Uh, and it's gotten to the point now where one of my brothers does a lot of work with us um so it's really cool to see that like, he's been supporting for so long and he's cared for so long that i'm now big enough on youtube to give him an opportunity to work with us uh firsthand so what advice would you give someone who wants to start a game the biggest thing honestly is to just start um a lot of people wait for the right equipment or think that they need this or that or these or those but really what you have now is the best thing that you can start with um like you're doing right now just kind of working with what you have and then seeing how it goes and then trying to make that the best that it can be and then working from there but i feel like just starting now and looking up on youtube which is free um you can look up how do i record obs or how do i record my audio or Really just, you can learn anything about how to make content on YouTube, which is the place where you can upload the content. It's it's awesome. So you can really just kind of start now and then learn as you go. Just kind of like trial by fire, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I started with a laptop and a mouse and I would wait until my parents left the house for me to record because I was embarrassed. Like I didn't want them to hear me shouting or know that I was recording videos because I thought that they, that they would think that it's strange. Um, <laughs> but I guess, yeah, my point is similar to his where you probably have enough equipment to start and I wouldn't wait to go buy a new PC or buy a new monitor or whatever. If you, if you want to do it enough, then, then you'll do it. And honestly, I think the best piece of equipment is yourself. Uh, I don't think there's any equipment that is better or more important than yourself being confident and being charismatic and understanding how to tell a story and, and those sorts of things. Yeah. yeah. Every person's unique. So you are your best asset. You can, 
you're you're not like anybody else. So really, just like be yourself on camera as much as you can be, and then people will like that if you're just authentic. So much. Thank you. This was yeah. Great. Thank you so much. Great questions. You did awesome. Thank you. We're here with Whitney, one of the cosplayers at Gamers Base 7. So what made you interested in cosplay? Well, since I was very little, I always loved playing video games. And I also loved acting. And I, and I discovered cosplay and so it was a way to make a living out of what I love. So that's why I do it. What character are you dressed up as? I'm dressed up as Nami from One Piece. And this outfit is from the new movie that is called Red. So do you dress up as any other characters? Oh yeah, like from the end of Zelda, from Demon Slayer. I actually made a live action of Demon Slayer because I like singing too. So I sing anime and video game openings. So many, I've made like a hundred cosplays maybe. So. so when did you start making content? When? On 2014 and professionally since 2016 because I used to have a job but when this like was good enough to make money I left my job and now I've been doing this for years What was your favorite character? Just my this? favorite character is Link from The Legend of Zelda She's my future husband And what is your favorite games? My favorite games, I love Mario Kart, Animal Crossing I love MMORPGs and I also like uh, fighting games, like Mortal Kombat, I like Street Fighter, so I like like a lot of variety. What I'm not that fun of is, is football soccer games. That's the only game that makes me bored, but all of the others I like to play. You're just like me. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> so what advice would you give to somebody who wants to start a YouTube channel being a cosplay? To just do it. Because sometimes some, uh, when you want to start something, you want to make it perfect and you want to make sure you have the skills and then you do something and you feel bad because it's not as perfect as you would think. But perfection is the enemy of progress. So you just do it with what you have and along the way you grow and you learn and you will polish your skills. So believe in yourself and just do it. So what does it mean to be a professional gamer? Uh, well, professional means that you get paid doing it. That's how I, I understand it. But also you can say a pro gamer to someone that is really good at playing it, that is very skillful, not necessarily making money, but it's called a pro. So it has like two meanings. Thank you so much for this. You're welcome. <laughs> there was so much action at Gamers Base 7 that we had to make two videos. Check out the video on the right for the next part of Gamers Base 7 on the Phoenix Zone. Please like and subscribe.